when they turn 21, they think, let me go have my first legal drink. Kathy, when she turned 21, decided, let me go get married. <laughs> and it took me a whole year to process that my best friend was getting married and moving all the way to Boston. But today, seeing how you guys look at each other, it all seems so meant to be. So, Kathy, Elizabeth, Anna, and I all became friends in eighth grade, you say. So we've been friends for a whole decade. Now, the best part about being friends with Kathy is that I finally found someone who's as funny as Kathy. But the bad thing about being friends with Kathy was the hallways. We would walk to every class together, and all these people would be waving at us. And I'd wave back, and as they got closer, they would say, Hey, Kathy, what's up? And I'd realize they're not talking to me. And so Kathy was friends with so many people in our high school and our middle school. And this was upperclassmen and underclassmen. And so while writing this speech, I thought, what is it about Kathy's personality that makes so many people attracted to that? And as I was thinking, I realized it's her simplicity. For Kathy, an ideal day would be playing squash and tennis morning, afternoon, and evening go play with all four of her cats, get meals at Wawa, and just wear the same clothes she's been wearing all the <laughs> And I know Kathy appreciates how lavish and beautiful this entire wedding is, but in reality, she got married in an ugly courtroom, wearing sweatpants, a Montgomery shirt, and an ugly one. I know she would still be the happiest girl in the world. And... This is the part of the speech where I give marriage advice for you guys. And uh, given I have exactly zero years of marriage experience, I thought I could give you best friend advice instead. So, inside. Inside. Inside, all of that tomboy exterior, Kathy definitely has a girly girl side. And so, this advice is for you, Joe. So, Joe. Make sure in Hawaii, you're squatting to take the perfect angle pictures for Kathy's Instagram. Make sure you tell her she's the most beautiful person in the world, even when she hasn't showered all week and her hair is in an ugly bun. And make sure you buy her lots of matcha lattes, even when she says she doesn't need them. And so now I'm going to conclude with a little conversation Kathy and I had last week. So as maid of honor, one of my responsibilities was to plan her bachelorette. And I spent hours trying to make it the perfect bachelorette, and I had such a good time, and I knew that it went exactly how I planned it. And so I asked Kathy, how did it go? Did you like the bachelorette? And she tells me, Leona, it was amazing. Definitely 9 out of 10. <laughs> and so then I'm thinking, 9 out of 10, 90%, still an A. I don't want that A+. Plus. So I spent a couple days thinking, and then I asked her, why was that bachelorette a 9 out of 10? What happened to the last 10%? And she tells me, oh, I say 10 out of 10 for the most life-changing experiences. And I ask her, like, what? Like, if we all sat in a circle and cried about our deep, dark secrets and bonded, is that a 10 out of 10? And she says, no. So I'm like, okay, what's a 10 out of 10 experience? And she goes, the first time I had Chick-fil-A. <laughs> wow, those waffle fries, that's a 10 out of 10. Her exact words. And so even though my bachelorette was not a 10 out of 10 experience, I hope that today, as you walk down the aisle to the love of your life, as you cry while holding hands, and as you sit here surrounded by everyone you love, I hope that this day will be a 10 out of 10 in your books. Thank you.